Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm coming to you with a question and answers video and I just answer your questions basically while I do my makeup. So you makeup lovers out there, you guys get a makeup tutorial. And those of you that are curious about me, Elise Danielle, you get that as well. This video is a little bit all over the place because I just went through the questions that came up on my Instagram and on Facebook. So if you're not following me on those two platforms, I'll link them somewhere around here so you can follow me on those other social medias. I did also want to let you you guys know that I came up with a filming schedule and I'll be uploading on Mondays and Fridays. So every Monday and Friday, just keep your eyes open from a video from me. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. All right guys, so to start out, I'm honestly just gonna be doing my makeup and answering questions. So I'm not really gonna be talking through what I'm doing, but everything I use will be listed down below. Okay, so I got a few questions. Um, I'm gonna start with maybe like the easy ones and then go into the hard ones. So I guess I'll honestly just tell you some stuff about me real quick. Uh, my name is Elise Danielle Hunter. I am 28 years old and I am from Indianapolis, Indiana, but I live in Louisiana. I am married with two beautiful little babies and I am a teacher and makeup artist. So yeah, that's just the gist about me. So to go ahead and start, the first question I'm going to answer is any more babies soon? And no. <laughs> I have a 23 month old, basically a two year old, and I have an almost four month old baby. So I mean. If I added another baby anytime soon, I'd probably go crazy. I probably wanna wait until they're like three or four. Maybe my oldest is five and then I'll have another baby. I want three or four babies. My husband just wants three, but I'm like, boo, we don't have four, okay? Okay, okay. Um, Another question is, where is my dream vacation? Uh, my dream vacation would probably be because it's so pretty the um, views are so nice and I wouldn't even care to go I wouldn't even just have to go explore I just would like a break <laughs> and just to sit on a beach there or even just sit in one of those little I don't even know what they're called a hotel or whatever and just enjoy the view the scenery so that would be my dream vacation another question is how long have you been doing makeup so um, I've honestly been wearing makeup since I was in middle school well, really like freshman year of high school, but I didn't know what I was doing, obviously. So I've always loved makeup, but it wasn't until, honestly, 2012. Well, no, no, no. In college, I wore makeup too. I never really wore liquid foundation or filled in my brows, but in 2012, brows started becoming a thing, and that's when I found YouTube. And I started following um, the YouTuber Nicole Guerrero, I'm sure some of you guys have heard of her. And then I found Jaclyn Hill, who's probably my favorite youtuber ever if you guys can't tell because i use all her products <laughs> she's just so talented so she would explain things so well and she honestly is how i learned to do makeup so well so since 2012 and then i started working at mac in 2014 so i guess that's really when i started doing makeup on people in 2014 and i still do makeup now just not as much as i used to because I have so many children. <laughs> okay, the next question I'm going to answer is what made me start with makeup? And like I said, I've always, always, always been obsessed with makeup, like love it. And what made me start being an actual artist is I literally fell in love with it. I love doing makeup. Like this is honestly a dream job of mine just to do makeup and it doesn't have to be on other people i enjoy doing myself and talking to you guys so my dream job if anybody were to ask that would honestly just be youtube i've been watching youtube since 2012 and it's like a huge passion of mine i love educating makeup like i'm a teacher so i love teaching people about makeup and the joy it brings them when they learn it so my favorite appointments are lessons so yeah that's why I started makeup and so forth. Someone said, would you like to be a full-time makeup artist or a celebrity makeup artist? No. I mean, 
if I could be a full-time makeup artist, yes, I'd love to do that. But where I live, like, people aren't going out like that. And I just financially, I live in Monroe, so we can't charge as much as, like, people in New York can. Like, I know people in New York charge, like, $100 per face. No, I charge 50 And that's kind of high for the, the area I live in. So I don't think I can make a comfortable living, at least living the lifestyle that I want to live <laughs> while being a full-time makeup artist. And as far as a celebrity artist, absolutely not. <laughs> I get stressed so easily and that would stress me out. Just first, the celebrity in itself, like they get their makeup done so often. So that would just, I could not. And then on top of that, them getting their makeup done, like they're getting pictured. And then I'm sure they're going to say who did makeup. And I just, mm -mm, mm -mm, not for me, sis. You feel me? Not for me. Um, another question I got, which is kind of deep in my opinion, is... How did you know you were ready for marriage? Um, I honestly don't know. <laughs> I, Me and my husband met, we went to Indiana University, so we met in college. I was 20 years old, he was 19. So when I met him, I kind of wasn't even looking to be in a relationship, but he just grew on me. <laughs> he was just so proactive, y'all. What a good man, but anyways. So I fell in love with him like literally months later, like fast as I don't know what. And then honestly, I was just, I just didn't see myself with being with anyone else. I knew I wanted to be with him forever because the way he treated me and he's really mature. He's almost two years longer, younger than me. And he acts like he's older, if that makes sense. Most dudes act like they're younger than their actual age and he just did not. So I don't know, he's just a good man. and. I knew I didn't want to be with anybody else, so of course I was ready for marriage because I just wanted to be committed to him. Another question that the same person asked is, what is the best advice you get can give someone who is dating or single? And girl, I, I don't even know because I haven't been single since I was 19. But when I was single, I made sure I was focused on me. So I guess while you're single, take the time to figure out who you are and what you want in life and what you want in a partner and yeah focus on you take that you time because once you're in a relationship it's not just about you anymore you can't be selfish okay the next question i guess i need to open my phone to see okay my line sister came through with the questions i'm a delta by the way so that's a question if you're wondering Ooh, my soul roars okay uh What's my favorite thing about being married and what's my least favorite thing? Um, my favorite thing about being married is just always having someone there who's literally there, your support system. You're never alone anymore. Obviously you're not alone because you have God, but like in the sense of something physical, you always have that significant other there and support. Your best friend is literally always there. So that's my favorite thing about being married. And then my least favorite is that you can't be selfish. <laughs> But that's just period like even with kids you can't be selfish and i'm learning that every day every day every day and that might sound crazy but i mean that's the truth so yeah y'all by the way this blush is rosie does it glow play brush blush and it's max new blush formulations it's so bomb y'all look at this color it goes with my shirt perfectly and y'all know i've i'm like obsessed with blush as of late so Hop on this, y'all. Mom. Another question is, what's the hardest part about motherhood? The hardest part about motherhood is finding time for yourself. <laughs> and honestly, the hardest part is wondering, like, figuring out if you're doing it right. Like, constantly worrying that you're doing it wrong. I've already had a baby, so now I have another baby. But this baby is just way different than <laughs> my first one. And then my toddler is just going crazy. Like he's nuts, y'all. So I don't know if I'm doing that right. I don't know if it's my fault that he's, you know what I mean? Just worrying. So the hardest part is worrying that you're doing it right as well as finding time for yourself. Like I have to have time for myself. And I tell my husband that daily and he's like, what about me? So I'm like, oh my God, I have to prioritize you as well. It's just, you know, life of a mother and wife is just, mm. A lot but I'm learning every day and I wouldn't trade it for the world so I'm very grateful to have my handsome hubby and my two healthy wonderful children so yeah 
I'm talking so softly because my daughter's back here sleeping. Another question I got is, can you answer in your YouTube where you get your necklaces from? They're so cute. Thank you so much. They're actually from Lana Jewelry and I'm obsessed with them. So Lana Jewelry, hop on it. And then if anybody else is wondering, I get my earrings from Bubble Bar. And then I also got these from Vanessa Mooney. I'll tag everything down for my jewelry if you're curious because I'm a jewelry head person. Like I'm obsessed with jewelry. So yeah, and then this little br bracelet is mad old. It's Michael Kors. I don't even want to show y'all because it's kind of tarnishing a little bit. So yeah, another question is, are you an eyebrows before foundation or opposite and why? Y'all, this is kind of hard to film and do makeup. I don't even know how I'm doing this. I'm a brows before type of girl because I find that if I put my brows on top of foundation throughout the day, if I'm a, my foundation starts to fade, my brows start to fade and I'm nothing on it. So I like to do my brows first because it sticks to my skin and I, oh y'all I forgot to prime, dang. And I normally put my primer on first. So then it, la it literally lasts all day so. Brows before foundation all day, every day. Someone asked, why did you switch to putting your concealer and contour on before foundation? Is there a big difference? I honestly switched to doing this because I saw Am Rizzy from Instagram do it and said that um, a makeup artist had done it on her. So she tried it and loved it. So I watched her do it. So I honestly just gave it a try because it's quarantine and I've just had all the time in the world. I've been on maternity leave, so I was just doing stuff and I loved it. I like it because there's a big difference. My makeup isn't as cakey so I don't, I don't use as much product and it just makes it look more natural in my opinion. Like it blends everything together better without using like a ton of product. So yes there's a big difference in my opinion. Another question I have is how do you manage to take care of two babies with prayer? Okay. I stick to a schedule for like sleep wise and then that kind of dictates our dictates our days. So I make sure they kind of nap at the same time and eat lunch around the same time daily, eat dinner, breakfast, you know. I stick stick to a schedule with that and then that kind of just is how I do it. <laughs> it's not easy by any means, but I try not to stress myself out. Because I get stressed easily, but somehow with my kids, I don't get stressed out and I don't know how. I don't know why. I guess God really is looking out for your girl because I don't know how I'm not freaking out daily. Someone said, what is that banana powder thing you do where I put the white powder underneath? Y'all, by the way, this setting powder is that luminous setting mist from Morphe. Um, smells like vacation in a bottle too. Anyways, the um, banana baking thing, just <laughs> baking thing. It's called baking your concealer and it just allows your concealer to really set and really stay in place all day. Doesn't budge. Oils don't seep through, at least on me because I'm not very oily. So yeah, that's what that is. Somebody asked me, what is it like dating or mar being married to an NFL player? And my husband was in the NFL for a few years. I mean, and it was cool. He was gone a lot. He was gone a lot, so that kind of sucked. And I would t I'm a teacher full time. So it's sad. It's hard when he's gone, but I mean, it's fine. He's off to half of the year. So it's really not that bad. People always talk about groupies, but I never experienced that. So it was cool getting to s just go to different places and different stadiums and things so I mean that was cool. Someone said what's a baby product that you can't live without? You guys see how I put my lipstick on? <laughs> blah blah blah. Um, I'm gonna film a whole video on my favorite baby products and my least favorite baby products so kind of keep your eyes open for those. What is your absolutely all-time favorite makeup product? Probably highlight. And my favorite at the moment is that Jaclyn Hill Bomb highlight that I put it on today. Like I'm obsessed with it. And probably blush. I put both of those things on daily. 
So those are probably my all-time fave. And right now, my favorite at the moment is that MAC one I mentioned to you all. Oh, also, I put on Hot Lily Lashes Houston in Houston. Y'all, look how bomb these are. I'm obsessed. And you guys, I think we are done. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any other video suggestions or that you'd like to see me film, they'll be linked down below. And I'll catch y'all in my next video. Bye.